What's up guys? Welcome back to Slide Through News. Literally on a slip and slide. Happy 4th. I hope everyone enjoyed their 4th of July weekend and now it's back to Monday. So you know what that means, a new episode of Slide Through News. Hope you guys liked that intro and we're going to get right into it with some 4th of July drifting clips. PDB FPV and Brandon to the row coming through with this boat drifting clip. Grip Royal and Drift Mansion just had their 4th of July competition. Well, this is from the first day. Let's take a look. If you ever need some welding done in Las Vegas, make sure to hit up Dynamic Exhaust and Fabrication. They're located in North Las Vegas. There's some great guys that put down some great work. Let's go ahead and take a look at the dimes that they laid down. Easy Shoots putting down these great photos of Carson Ruger at the Drift League. Carson Ruger took first place of course, but this is the photo set from Easy Shoots. Let's go ahead and take a look. Core Works posting this great POV footage of some drone shots at FD New Jersey. This is going to be Cole Richards and Corey Talaska. Taking him back to the Drift League once again, we got Tyler Dillon photo getting these great photo sets. This guy definitely knows how to shoot. Make sure to give him a follow. And if you're at any events in California, look out for this guy. Ask him to take some photos of your car. Slavy Squat getting this video of Z Jack saving his car at the Drift League. He almost took it into the barrier, but he saved it. Thank God for good drivers. Never use safety equipment of any kind. Be a man. <laughs> Carlton Drift showing you his edit from Formula Drift, New Jersey. Also, an event he hit up at Club Loose. We also have LS13 Coupe in this clip and also. Lauren H. 1911. Hey! 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 We're out here at the Pro Pro Down at Club Blues.
beautiful Concordia, Ohio. Tires gone. Get a new one put on, right, Lauren? Yeah. Yeah. Myers Ford in Concordia, Missouri. We're in nowhere, nobody, Kansas. If you haven't heard of DND Performance Interior, well now you have. Let's go ahead and take a look at this commercial that they just put down. Bullet C7 vet finding this old clip of the RX-7 that lost all its wheels. Did you guys check out this yard sale? Coco Spec, Friendly Fire, Friendly Austin, Kenny Tevis, and SlideSlide.us showing us this great event that happened down at Apple Valley Speedway. Let's go ahead and take a look. Remember how I said that a lot of people don't drive Miatas? Well, these guys are all drifting Miatas and they're killing it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this clip. Come, my lady, come, come, my lady. Philly drifts showing you the sound of his people and by people I mean these damn trumpets <laughs> Emerson Motorsports, Johnny B. Rockin' coming through and showing you how to do some great lead runs. The only thing I have to say about Braden's run here is that he could have been wider to get around that last turn. However, he is under horsepower for this course, but he shows you how to make it through anyways. Driven Luck Circuit providing these cool clips of 1JZ Rolla and Blake Didn't Wake Up. These are the two clips on the screen behind me. Great driving, guys. Shoe Cry Media getting some great footage of Blocks Work Racing at the last Fuel Fest event. This guy definitely knows how to drive. Never, never, never. Sideways Hatch getting these great clips at Evergreen. Let's go ahead and take a look at this edit that he put together.
I haven't been seeing a lot of footage from Race Wars, however, Itch Matt came through, took third place, and posted his video on IG. Make sure to go give him a follow. All right, guys, got third overall of the weekend. Couldn't go into the finals. A little hole in my radar from something hitting it, but I'm beyond stoked. I want to thank all my sponsors for getting me out there. Drift Gate Motorsports, Heat Wave, Black Tracks, Vitor, Class 8 Performance, Link ECU. I appreciate all your help in getting me out today. I'll see you guys at the next one. Remember last week when I said Bright Slide Drift it had a lot of obstacles to overcome from the last event? Well, this is the edit that he put together after the event. He did take third place, however, but let's go ahead and take a look at his struggles all the way to his success. I'll let you get away. All right, everyone, thank you again for tuning in to this week's episode of Slide Through News. I'm your host, Will Poussant. Thanks for sliding through.